Yo, what's up out there? This is Chris from Hair Loss from Steroids, and I wanted to shed light on a subject and a question that guys, you know, ask a lot because it can be very distressing. And they want to know, does minoxidil speed up hair loss? And the answer to that is yes, but no. And we're talking about really any minoxidil product. This is the Kirkland one. This is the one that I recommend, Lipogain, because it's awesome and it has a uh, acetic acid which inhibits DHT. But anyway, if you haven't used minoxidil before and you put it on and you go about your business and stuff like that, within about two weeks or sometimes as late as one month, you'll, you'll notice possibly, not, not every guy, but an increase in hair loss. And that can be very distressing because guys are using minoxidil to prevent hair loss and possibly get some regrowth. So it is very discouraging when that happens. I want to say though that it's what happens. Not to everybody, but it's completely normal. A lot of guys think because of the, the, you know, the extra hairs they're losing that, oh shit, minoxidil isn't working, this it sucks and this kind of stuff. That is not evidence that it's not working. Actually, it's evidence that it is working. And real quick, this is what happens when you put minoxidil on your head, you haven't used it before, it shifts hairs, really the majority of hairs it comes into contact with into the antigen phase, and that is the growth phase. And um, it will shift hairs that are in the telogen phase, which is the resting phase, to the antigen phase. But it will shift hairs in the antigen phase into a, like a hyperactive antigen phase, and they will shed. And that's the key word now, shed. It's not androgenic alopecia. It's not hair loss by definition, male pattern baldness from DHT. Shedding is simply the hair sheds. Um, really no more basic way to put that. It comes out and then within a uh, period of probably about four weeks after, it regrows. I mean, the regrowth starts right away, but you'll notice it four weeks after or so. So it's completely normal if you just started minoxidil and you're getting the shedding. Stick with it. Seriously, don't pitch it in the trash. Don't stop. This is evidence that it is working. It will come back for you. Seriously. I have used minoxidil and stopped for periods of times, and I do get a moderate like shedding phase. Don't panic. It will be back, and the hairs will likely be somewhat thicker because you can get some regrowth with minoxidil. Now, I wanted to tell you about how I used it last summer, you know, starting around right this time a year ago. Basically, I took a generic minoxidil, it was this one in fact, and basically put it on my head 24-7, and that meant like about four or five times a day. And uh, you probably don't need to use it for some results more than once or twice a day, but I just wanted to try this, and I was going to put it on my head all day, and I mean, reasonably there were periods when I didn't have it on, you know, if there was like a chick over or something like that, but basically it started doing really good things for me. Um, throughout 28 weeks that I record, and I'll post a little link to my experiment below, I get significant regrowth. Um, around the areas that like didn't have hair, some around my, some around my hairline and stuff like that, uh, there was peach fuzz that came up. Now, I'm not really counting that, but it is, a, you know, it is an indicator that it was working. And other areas that um, where you're know, just slightly thinning filled in pretty good, uh, mainly the top. Also, like in here and stuff like that, it was it was a little thin. But yeah, over 28 weeks, it, it certainly grew back. One thing I noticed about minoxidil, because long ago when I wasn't as wise, I used to think it was just bullshit. You know, Rogaine lobbied the FDA for a, for a patent on it, and they got it, and they marketed it really well. I mean, not unlike a lot of hair loss products, but when I picked it back up three years ago, I was putting it on consistently because the price is very cheap on this. It certainly has gone down. I was putting it on it consistently, and I noticed in the shower I was losing a lot less hair, like significantly less. Then I came across a study by the International Hair Restorations uh, study by the International Hair Restoration Surgeon Society. Wait, I'll post it below. I'm sorry. Um, that be, that told me the study went like this. Guys used minoxidil for 12 months, and when they started, they measured a hair loss count in the shower, and that averaged among, I think, about 100 guys, 69.7. At the end of 12 months, that number had dropped to 33.8. So guys, basically, within one year of using minoxidil, lost, or 
stop their hair loss in the shower by at least by about half. And that is uh, pretty dramatic. And I noticed that too. I was losing probably about 50 hairs. It's hard to count. Um, three years ago when I started, and that cut down to around 20. So I can definitely vouch for that. It, it does prevent hair loss in general, and then I noticed it significantly when I was uh, showering that I was losing a lot less. So ever since then, I've used it to this day. This is the one I recommend, Lipogain. Like I said, it has azelaic acid, which inhibits DHT. So if you're getting the monoxidil shedding phase, stick it out, guys. Seriously, it'll be worth it. And consistently use monoxidil. It's one thing that, um, you know, I, it's a lifetime commitment. So I'm not thinking that, you know, you expect it to like douse your head in it 24 7. Ideally, the generic monoxidils, they're cheap, they're inexpensive, they work. The only problem with them is they're pretty oily and um, they don't dry very quickly. With that, it's the higher quality formulas like Lipogain and Spectral. They dry in about five minutes and you can style your hair as you were. So, you know, you're picking from both. If I have to do what I'm doing this these days too, lipo gain in the morning or when you're going out or something like that. And then at night, the Kirkland thing, because it's a little oily, but it makes it more cost effective. So, stick it out on Minoxidil. It's pretty good. Make sure you're doing something about the DHT. Ideally, you know, ketoconazole shampoo, which would be region pure, that's my recommendation. Azelaic acid in the monoxidil formula, the high, you know, high quality one. And, um, you know, do your homework on Propecia. I take it, specifically Proscar, 1.25 milligrams of finasteride every other day. And that works good too. I know there's a lot of scare out there about that, but I do use it. I haven't had any side effects. And, uh, yeah, I'll talk about that more later, but um, that's basically what I use. You can find out my whole stack or whatever at Hair Loss from Steroids, and I hope this helps you out because this stuff certainly has for me.